finding faith in science. Your day Can we do that, Tan? What? Yeah. Finding faith in... Oh, shit. Hey, what everybody. It's faith the in program. <laughs> oh, we're really, we're we're really close up there. Okay. Once again, once a day, every day, we turn on the machines Carl's and then we gonna start talking. Carl's going to fix this nonsense. Hey. Wow, look at that. Look at the I was enjoying my close up there for 30 seconds. It's the rest of seconds. the spot. Yeah. I'm sorry, sir. You can't have that quite of a close up. You gotta share the couch with others. Share, share. We're All on TV. right. I'll share. <laughs> once Fine. again, once a day, every day, Fine. we turn on the machines and, and then we, we start, start talking. talking for an hour. So we here do. it is. We're talking. We're talking. What day is it? Hola, como esta? Well, it's not Tuesday. It's not Thursday. It's not Sunday. I know. It's Friday. Friday. Nope. Not Friday. <laughs> it's a different day. <laughs> It's Saturday. I said that. Nope, it's not Saturday. No, one of those Tuesday. Days. One of those nope. other days. The last one. Is the last one? Come on, keep going. Keep guessing. What's the, Monday. Uh, Monday. Yay. Yay. Oh, where's your, where's your uh, I forgot my sock oh, puppet. No. You, 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 know, you went the whole time last week with your sock puppet, never having a real reason, I think, to use it. <laughs> well, I, only when I say, yay. Oh, oh there you go again. You yeah. Need, you know, thing, at least, uh, so instead, you know, I'll do, yay. Anything. Yay. I guess. Uh, oh. <laughs> that, sir, is not a sock, sir. Yeah, it's something. You gonna do, do the voice? Hey, uh, well, I used a yeah. stuffed. I used a stuffed animal. Kenny can use you know, a plastic bag. Actually. Yeah, I liked it. Right? I, I used a stuffed animal. Kenny can use a plastic bag. Yeah, so. I'm gonna use a plastic bag. All right. Yay! Oh, I'm gonna <laughs> uh. How how you doing today, Dan? I'm doing all right. <laughs> You're back. I am, and I'm front. No. And well, the hippo center. The, you, oh, the right, fine. Hippo. Oh, you, you have the dark dark. Did yeah, you I got it. Oh my I, God, I, you brought. I got your to remind friend. you, Dan. I'm you sorry. Dan about the when he says the front front things. The yeah, dark, I forgot the, to remind remind Dan. Get the joke. Well, I got the hippo. I got a spare microphone sitting by the door, so you know, <laughs> it's like, do we need it? Nope. Nope. Yeah, that's what we used They're to working. need, it, but now not so Sometimes. much anymore. It may happen again, so yeah. you can cane me after the program How about forgetting your sock puppet. How was the week uh, there? Dan? I will simply shake the waggly finger in your general direction. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Fair enough. How, how, how was the week there, Dan? Uh, it was pretty eventful. Uh huh. Yeah. What What happened? Well, uh, me. <coughs> Uh, you know, I can't see anything in these glasses. Oh, no, it's too dark, huh? <laughs> That's why I don't wear them. Well, <laughs> I like the possible cool factor of wearing them. Look, so cool. even though I can't see where... Yeah, well, you look like Snoopy. What are you trying to see? Uh, Joe Cool. Well, the thing you dropped. I'm oh, like, yeah. well, I I'm like all I right. see down there is shadow. That's fine. You don't need to see things right now. No, so I you, don't. Yeah. I can see the lights. Yeah, there and you go. The yeah, only one the who knows is the shadow. The shadow knows. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I'm consulting the shadow right now. Yeah, what, what happened? This hey, week? shadow. <laughs> what happened this week, Dan? What is up with that? So uh, I went to a Cam Cambodian, two different Cambodian New Year's celebrations. One oh. in Olympia, one in Tacoma. Wow. Yeah. The one in Tacoma was very chaotic, and they had like certain elements there, but it was uh, uh, very different. The one in Olympia was very spiritual, very subdued, very, very reverent. I would say very um, people were quiet, and uh, it was a, it was a, uh, yeah, a, you know, it was a. It was a, a quiet thing. And then they had a band, and the band got loud. So, so I went to this uh, first with, uh, with Max, my coworker, and uh, a Cambodian friend, uh, Jumpy, and he took us there. And then he took us to the Tacoma one. And uh, while I was at the Olympia one, I danced with the ladies. It's very interesting dancing. They go around in circles and they do stuff with their hands. So I tried to emulate that behavior. 
Were they so. doing something that was like choreographed and make, they're making it up? or No, no, no. It's free dancing, but they move their hands. They have a specific like, dance style? Yeah. Even though it's, yeah, yeah, they do stuff with their hands. I was try, trying to figure it out. But it was free form, so it was almost like dance holy dance. Was it Cambodian music? Yeah. Yeah, they had a uh, guitar, <laughs> keyboard, drums, and a singer. And it was oh, all... live it was band, all, huh? Yeah, yeah, it was all in Cambodian. And... Uh, what kind of music were they playing? Cambodian rock music. Yeah. Rock, rock, rock songs, but yeah, in yeah, yeah, the regular instruments. It wasn't like traditional back home instruments. It was uh, stuff, and and there were songs about things and stuff, and things and stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that was pretty cool. Uh, and then uh, what else? What else happened? Oh, talked to a Buddhist dude. Uh, said hello to a Buddhist monk. He was nice. He's a nice guy. <laughs> Uh, what else? Uh, uh, well, then we went to the one in Tacoma, and they have these tables there, and they, they're gambling tables. And they have a plate with a bowl on it that have three dice in them. And on the dice, uh, on all the sides of the dice, there are different symbols that match uh, one of, I think, six different symbols uh, on the table. And you place a dollar down, and if one of the dice ends up on your thing, uh, then you get a dollar. And if it doesn't, then you lose that dollar. Yeah. So, so I kept putting a dollar down, sometimes two down, on the chicken, <laughs> the rooster. Mm -hmm. And I won nine bucks. Wow. And then Gambling. I had the audacity to walk away. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I was like, oh, that was nice. Yeah, did people people want you to stay there to get their money back? Oh, of course. Of course. But uh, it was very interesting. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Oh, I ate the weirdest egg of my life. <gasps> yeah. Uh, it's an egg that has been fertilized, and the chicken has started to grow. Ugh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I ate it. Ugh. It was a duck egg, actually. Baloo. Yeah. Yeah, yeah was, I've, I've uh, eaten that before. Really? What do you think? It's okay. Yeah, well, they poured this <laughs> salt, pepper, and lime uh, stuff on it. Tastes it, like an egg. Yeah. Yeah, but it's got... <laughs> it's got things in it. It's a little crunchy. Yeah. A little eggy. Yep. Ugh. Mostly eggy. Carl's a vegan, so he doesn't want to try that stuff. But I think it tastes, tastes okay. I'm not a big egg fan in general. Uh, I think I like regular eggs. This was okay, but it's kind of, uh, uh, I didn't enjoy it that you, much. You, you want to get it It was again. okay as eggs go, but it's like, mm, I like, I like a different texture. Classical eggs. You wouldn't yeah, want to get it again. Maybe not. Uh, I will, I, I doubt if I will ever buy my own. Yeah. Someone maybe makes maybe them. Maybe don't want to turn them down. That's rude. Yeah. Yeah. Well, how'd you end up going to two of them? Oh, Chumpy was like, hey, you want to go to this other one? And I'm like, oh, I got to get home. Yeah. Were they in the same day? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So that was like a Yeah, I need to talk to my sister, and she, she goes to bed early, so. It was the so. holiday, though. Yeah. That yeah, was a Cambodian. busy 12 or 18 hours for you. Oh, I was so exhausted when I got home. I fell asleep at midnight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hmm. fell asleep at midnight and and uh, uh, woke up at like eight. I'm like, oh my god, it's too early to be up. <laughs> so I want to see a yeah. Cambodian rock band. Yeah, they were all right. Did Good they music. play any songs that you recognize? But they played them in Cambodian. Nope. None, huh? Nope. No, they were nice tunes though. They were nice tunes and. Uh, uh, oh, I ate some of the food, uh, this pad thai-like stuff, but it was very different. Uh, some meat on a stick. Yeah. Um, uh, two different uh, spicy, hot, uh, vegetable, cold vegetable soup-like stuff. 
mm -hmm. you eat with the, with the other foods. One was really hot, and the other was more salady. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was all... Uh, I think I've had the meat before, but uh, or something like it, but the rest of the food I'd never tried before. Oh, I ate uh, a piece of deep-fried banana. <laughs> Ooh, that sounds good. <laughs> yeah, that was... Damn. Was yeah, I ate that first. It was, it was I should have waited. Made it dessert. Pardon? Was that plantain? No plantain is. Um, it's like kind of it wasn't as sweet. It wasn't as sweet as like a regular banana that I'm used to. So been plantain, that's like this like potatoey banana. And yeah. They fry it up a lot of the times. Well, yeah, they were like these strips, deep fried strips. They're that pretty good. Might be plantain. Well, you're you're starting to uh, make my memory go, uh, um, in bonkers mode, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Remember, you're, 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 you're for, recalling uh, something. Udon noodles. Again. You're thinking about udon noodles? We're talking about fried plantain <laughs> bananas. Well, you, okay, you, uh, he was talking about... Uh, well, you're just hungry. You know, uh, of, you know, semi-Swedish, sweet-ish, super, whatever that you called it. Swedish was like, soup. I, I was like, oh, that sounds like miso. <laughs> it was pretty good. All the food was great. It was great. I want some miso. <laughs> yeah, I think you're just hungry. Or you're doing that free association thing. Uh, free association, sure. Yeah, that's good though. Free associate, uh, free association. We're writing some numbers down in our hands right now between one and six. If you are watching this show right now, you should write a number between one and six. Get do out it. Of, get do it. Your hand. Do it. Don't do it. Get out of pen. Don't do it. Get Hurry. Out of, get out of pen. Write number down in your hand. Carl's right gonna to roll the dice. But don't do, do it. it. You don't can, do it. You can win. The you have time. The Grab a pen. Game. Do it now. Now. Or if now. you're, you know, you could have your pens ready. Hey, where did Carl go? Whoa! What just happened right here? <laughs> hey, look at that! Whoops! We're rolling some dice here. Okay. Carl's got the camera going. He picked it up. I know which number it's gonna be. The three. Nope. <laughs> I, one. I was wrong. I was right. I was so wrong. Carl got a one. I'm a team Carl Jr. Number five. Dan and Tiffany. Carl and Dave. So who's Tiffany? Which one? Can you point to Tiffany, please? Dave, Wanda, Tiffany, Zilger, Carl Jr., and Natalia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that name, though I cannot pronounce it. Dave, Wanda, Tiffany, um, Zilger, Carl Jr., and Nefa. There's some F's in there, isn't there? Like uh, like F sound and the H's. Or PH. Or Nepetha. She, she, she has a PhD, so it's a PhD. Nepetha for sure. Here, here, here's a message. <laughs> uh oh, gotta plug it in. Hold on there. Hold on, people. Gonna plug it. So the science I would like to talk about today, at some point, is uh, glaciers. Ooh. Not about eggs. I tease. Right. Uh, I don't get it. Uh, What's the cheese? Mount Rainier. Eggs? You know, uh, we're, we're in embryo forms, and, you know, not eating the egg past its fertilization stage. Oh, uh, no, well, yeah, but uh, what does that have to do with mountains? Are you just calling back to this thing that we're talking about before? Yeah, I was just it? calling back. Uh, I was like, what? I thought you were making some kind of, like, far-out pun association thing, calling eggs and mountains, on the, and then I was missing out on something, but it was even further... Uh, further out into scale. like the, the uh, free association, I'm, I'm like very brother free. small, like not or not even brother free association, small. but free small. It's like a John Webster response. Okay, large. <laughs> there we so go. So these glaciers are they um, like Mount Rainier? Okay, so so do you know how a glacier forms? Yeah, a bunch okay. of water freezes. Compacted ice on top of a mountain. Okay, how does that water get there? Uh, on top for, of a mountain. millions of years. Precipitation. Exactly. Okay. Millions uh, of years. Uh, if it's frozen, it's called snow. If it's uh, liquidy, it's called 
Ice. Rain. Okay. Okay. So that's the teaser. Are you ready? Uh, okay. Okay. They found on Mars, they found this has been a 10-year study. They found glaciers on Mars. But they're all covered over with dust. So what? they don't show up on, on regular, they don't show up like a uh, camera. They just look like these mountain shapes. Uh, but they've been using penetrating radar uh, to measure the topography uh, uh, of Mars, and it didn't agree. Uh, like, the mountain would read as this elevation, but the, with the radar going through, uh, like, a whole bunch of ice, uh, it, it gives a different value. So they've been measuring that. And, uh, different uh, elevation. Yeah, so, so there's tons and tons of glaciers on Mars. They're just covered in dust. They would look like every mountain would what? have glaciers on them. Yeah, they're and they're covered in dust, and there are so many. I thought and Mars was this so much dry, barren wasteland. Dry, Mars is not dry; it is not at all dry. Wow! There is so much water bound up in these glaciers that it would cover the planet in a meter of water. Water, water. A meter of water. A yard. It'd be uh, the entire planet would be covered. Okay, wow. so. So one meter, four feet. Yeah, four feet. So all the way around the planet. Yeah, well, I'm sure some mountain, maybe not mountain tops, but it would cover the, it would cover the place. Now most of that water would drain into a large part of the northern hemisphere that's uh, physically lower than the southern hemisphere. Uh huh. And uh, It'd be like an ocean. Yeah. Yeah, shallow ocean, not a real deep one. But a shallow one, so but so that's a lot of water. So so, what we know is that a huge amount of water evaporated into space uh, uh, just because of the deuterium level, and now they found all these glaciers. What's a deuterium? Deuterium is a hydrogen. Normally, a hydrogen is a proton and an electron, just one of each, and that's hydrogen. Okay, every once in a while, you get one with a neutron attached to it, so it's twice as heavy. Yeah. And then that heavy hydrogen lives in a water molecule. And there's a certain ratio on Earth and the moon. And uh, the uh, ratio on Mars, however, is much higher. There's a lot more of it there. And heavy water, it, 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 you can stick water in a centrifuge and spin it really fast. And the heavy water goes to the bottom. That Makes just sense. the heavier hydrogen just that, That's what goes they down. use to separate blood platelets, right? Mm, oh, yeah. They use it for all, all kinds stuff. of stuff. Yeah. For separating out stuff. Yeah. So, uh, so the heavy water stayed on Mars while the lighter water uh, evaporated. Okay. So, add that amount of water that evaporated along with the amount of the glaciers. Mm -hmm. Okay. There, there, there was a lot. A lot. Wait a minute, what makes water heavy? The deuterium. This heavy hydrogen atom. Right. Right. Yeah, extra neutron. Wow. I don't know what percentage of mass of a whole molecule, a water molecule, right? Two hydrogens and oxygen. I don't know how much weight that would add, what percentage of weight, how much heavier it would be. Just uh, one but it's extra. A, it's enough. <laughs> just one extra you know, slightly yeah. heavier subatomic par particle. Yep, a neutron. <sighs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, so, 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 uh, what if a bunch of colonists go in there, all they have to do is land near a glacier mm -hmm. and drill, baby, drill. It's right there. Yeah. Water. Tons. I never thought I'd hear you say Tons. that quotation. So I then know, you can go either. drink the you can drink the <laughs> Mars water. Um, there is this substance known as uh, percolate. It's a a, a mineral that uh, uh, is toxic. Yeah. And there's lots of it on the surface, <coughs> and uh, it's a oh, carbon and oh carbon. It's a it's some sort of a hydrocarbon that is unfriendly. It uh, it messes with other molecules. It's reactive. And so, do they, do they have any of that stuff on Earth? Well, what they'd have to do is they have to send a probe to one of these glaciers and just drill right in there. Do oh, they have to circulate stuff at, on Earth though? Uh, yeah, but it doesn't. Uh, it, uh, uh, 
uh, our environment is a lot different and so it doesn't form and there's all kinds of organisms actually that do like it mm. but they haven't found any actual sign of life on the surface at this point and it's possible that you know it is the surface may be absolutely lifeless uh, I'm pretty sure uh, uh, I would make a really good guess uh, that uh, if and when they start drilling the next probe in about three years they're sending it's going to drill yeah. It's going to use a punch drill and do seismic activity. No doubt they will want a sample down there. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, glaciers. glaciers. So, so you just you just land your ship right over there, and you've got all the water. Uh, the ship landing, uh, uh, any kind of colonists, uh, they're going to need a nuclear reactor. Because mm -hmm. well, solar won't cut it. It, it's, it won't... Um, uh, it will be pretty hard to land on the planet then without landing on a glacier, though, right? Well, not on a glacier, next to one. Because, as you know, most of the time they're like this big, giant flow. So, 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 so the, other, the other cool thing is, is that it rained on Mars. And it snowed on Mars. That's what made the glaciers. Well, I, I heard It rained you. and snowed. There were big old clouds. I heard you say There's that it was... probably lightning, too, I'm sure. <laughs> right. Uh, well, I heard you say that it was covered like like the whole planet was covered in this glacier. So where would you not land? Where would you c could not land well, on the... the whole planet, right? Pardon? Uh, they seem to ring uh, an, uh, a latitude along the planet uh, about where uh, the U.S.-Canadian border is. Oh, the, that's where you were talking right about. Right around there. It's Northern not, versus Southern Hemisphere. Yeah, and there's another ring of them uh, uh, in the same kind of latitude on the southern side. And they, that, you know, it's not a perfect down there? ring. It kind of moves around and stuff. But Is it pulled down there because of gravity? Wait, what? Is it pulled down there because of gravity, the, the spinning, um, like... Um, you, you sh well, okay. You, you lost me there, man. Th there's a lot, like, if you, like, the, this is why the Earth is not totally round. It's kind of, like, maybe longer or wider, you know, because of the yes, gravitational forces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, spin, I thought the that centrifugal force makes it a little mm. more bulgy around the middle. Around right, the so I thought, it, it, so the, the, uh, the, uh, um, the, uh, icebergs or um, the glaciers are not really um, driven by this centrifugal the, force? The spin of the Earth affects them not as far as I know. Mm -hmm. As the, far the as I know. So, so what happens is spin snow, of Mars. A, a glacier, yeah, a glacier is snow you said that spin slowly... Of Earth. What? You said spin of Earth. I wanted to correct you, spin of Mars. Yeah, spin of Mars. No, it doesn't affect it. Well, right. Earth has a bulge and that right. affects the liquid water. Right. And actually the the the, <laughs> the uh you know, the continents too. All that. It affects all that. So Red uh, Pill. Uh uh <laughs> you, you wanna hear this message? Well see see the spinning is oh, an yeah? outward force. Oh, okay. It's not an inward yeah. force. Gravity uh pulls it in. And so that the ice on the mountain slowly flows like a liquid. The ice over time it slowly flows. Slowly, mm -hmm. slowly flows. All that science is making my head hurt. Again. But Hi, Claire. Calling again. Mars gravity is much in a row. lighter. In a row. I'm in my room. I'm sitting for my jittery. Yeah. And playing what? It's boring. The Who's this? Boring. Claire. Claire. Bored. She's bored. It's boring as in rain. If you're bored, then you're boring, yeah, Claire. <sighs> is she the one from Canada? Um, no, no. Pen? She's down here in Olympia. Oh. Do I know her? Yeah, she's uh, she, she's and, came to TCTV. Um, yeah. I'm oh, Claire. About the quadratic, nice. Uh, I'm learning about quadratic equations and. B um, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. I know quadratic quadratic formula. I hate, I hate it. I, I hate the GRE, but I hate the quadratic formula as well. It's, e, uh, it's x equals minus b squared yep. plus or minus the square root yep. of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Oh, wait, no, it's not. 
Yeah. X equals negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared more. Uh, oh, I was wrong. I, I said like the Pythagorean. Pythagorean. Um, I can memorize it. E equals M C squared. So, yeah. so much. I said, why would you cheat? I don't think you found the math section. The other stuff ain't so bad. Math is just hard. Oh. Yeah, it is. Um, I like the quadratic yeah. formula. Yeah. You can sit here in my, on my couch. It's my banjo. Once I figured it's my it out. banjo, Rosie. I tried. Hey, banjo. Play a tune. Banjo. Come on. Maybe someday I will call the program and Some, play a song. Someday. But maybe I'll be too Not today. That would be nice. Please do um, that. I oh. hope you're well in the future. I'm bored in the past. Maybe I'll um, well, You're bored in the past. I don't remember when the program is. So if you call me when I'm at Mexico Benito, it's that right now. Be Nighttime. I'm going to Mexico Benito to see if it really is a portal to another dimension, or if it's just a front. Or oh wait, this is on live TV, huh? Maybe it's been bad. It's bad. I'm saying these things. Huh? Oh no. Censoring my. That looks anyway, you want to hear some problems I'm working on? Here's one. 4x plus 12 equals 4 times the sum of x plus 3. All right, Claire. We got an email, too, from somebody from uh, Vancouver. And they say they want to play on the show. They're a band. Oh, wow. Is it Vancouver, B.C. or Vancouver, Washington? I don't know. It doesn't say. Yeah, the quadratic formula. Do you know what it's used for? It's really useful. It's a little bit high, higher math than... That's what that band sounds like. Maybe they'll play here in the studio. Um. Yeah, it's how you figure out if you have two points and you don't know the, the angle, you can't measure the angle, you use a quadratic formula to figure out the, the vector, the, the, right. the direction of the line. Thought. I saw I saw Solis, or the third, the third line of the triangle. Yeah, Please leave your message for 2 oh, 4 no. Hey, Claire, it's the program. We're calling you back. This is not Claire. This is the band. No, this is Claire. Oh, oh hey, Claire. You can call us back. Yeah. Uh, what did she say in her message? Playing the banjo? The quadratic formula? Yeah. That's smart stuff. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I, it vexed me as well, but I ended up liking it. It's a big thing to remember. I, okay. I I made my peace with it. Thank you. <laughs> well, thank you, Claire. Yeah. Uh, okay, well... I was kind of digging that uh, video of the band, though, that was like a colorful, like... Uh, I'm going to tell the band to call, uh, call the show so that we can talk to them. Yeah. And, uh, what's... The number here, if you didn't know, it's not up there, it's... Three six zero three nine nine six uh two seven three. It's do zero eight dog dug. You can call us and tell us you're bored. I'm bored. Um Well yeah. hopefully you're not bored. I have not been bored since nineteen diggity eight. Good. Way would be Good to go, bro. Yeah. yeah, here they go. Let's, go, let's call uh, Freddy, the producer, find out the production end is gone. Oh, actually, yeah, I Freddy's hope he has a phone now. Yeah, maybe he got his phone back. He lost his phone? Uh, something. No, he left his charger at, at work. Oh, crap. Is what I remember. It Need to be. charge, but it's, it's... Is it charged? Who knows? Hello? Hello, uh, Kirsten. Hey. 
It's the program. We're on TV. How you doing today? Good. We ju I just made um, grapefruit uh, meringue. Oh, yummy. What kind of meringue? Like, grapefruit. like I put uh, meringue on top of these grapefruits. Wow. That's like classical. It's lemon meringue, right? Yeah, it's kind of like that, but it's like on a whole grapefruit and... It's like cooked on top. Wow. Wow. Did you cook the grapefruit too or did you just put it on there? I just put it on, on there. It kind of like warms up in the oven a little bit. Mm, but, yeah. Um, it's also just like, like still kind of cold and refreshing too. Sounds good. Um, and then today, Freddie, because we have all this food because Freddie went to the... Um, food bank and he made pear apple crisp and lentil soup. Ooh. Mmm. Yummy. And then we're also making meringue cookies. That's like eggs, right? You would beat the egg whites or something? Yeah. All you, all I did was just beat egg whites with sugar and salt. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, you can't get any yolk in it at all. Otherwise it won't, uh, it won't go all fluffy. Yeah. I, have, have you, have you, did you eat it yet? Yeah, I ate it. Good. Sounds, it. how was it? <laughs> sounds delicious. Was it as good as you wanted it to be? What? And more? Um, <laughs> did, uh, uh, have you seen uh, anything on the streets? Um, oh, well, we had our, a biking ride today. Uh huh. We went to this um this Mexican restaurant on like by your house. Uh huh. Um, it was called Mexico Bonito. Yeah. Oh yeah. I don't like it. Have you Have you ever been there? I not in years. Well, I didn't like it. Has anyone else been there? Uh, not that I know of. How was it? What do you think about it? It was crazy. It was like like. They don't serve alcohol, so we I got a wine margarita and some nachos and like uh, I just I just I like it was probably the worst food I've ever had. Yeah. Oh. I kind of feel bad saying it because we're on TV, you know. <laughs> yeah. Well, I they've been oh. there for so long. I they have fans or something. He said he's been there for at least fifty. I think you said 15 years. Oh, no. It's been there for at a least... A long time. At least... A long time. Ten, I would say at least 10 years. Yeah, I would agree. Yeah. But how do they stay in business? It's well, so scary. Well, Kirsten, were there other people there eating? No. No, there, it's not very many people there, but they last for a long time. I don't know what it is. You know, that reminds me that the, the Skippers in Lacey, it closed down. Um, oh, uh, yeah? Yeah, and that is to me is an institution. Uh, no. Yeah. Oh, where's the yeah? No. It's like McDonald's. Ooh. Uh, don't expect Zoe. McDonald's to close down. Our friend Zoe said she saw something crazy on the street yesterday. Okay. Um, but she should probably just tell it. But she's not here. Oh. <laughs> but um, she like cause. Freddie said he saw like all these cop cars racing around, mm -hmm. and I think it was because there was a fight at the fountain. Mm. Really? Um, oh wow! Zoe said she saw the whole thing, and that um, they were like arguing. This guy was arguing with this kind of like guy, another guy who looked like Moby, and um, like, a, like a bald guy. Yeah, and then the other guy. Um, like, like the other guy was like this black guy and, and then the police came and they arrested the black guy and the other guy was the one that was threatening him all along. Oh, you know, you think it was racial profiling? That's what Zoe said. Yeah. Boo. And she tried to tell the cops, she like said she went up to them and she was like, I saw the whole thing. That guy didn't do anything. He was just like standing up for himself, and then the other guy that looked like Moby was, like, had a knife. Ooh, a knife, huh? Well, that's 
That's, that's kind of. And he didn't get arrested. That's yeah, kind of like. What wow. the? And that's, he had a knife. That's what oh, the he fuck? had a knife. That's. Thank you, Olympia Police. Well, yeah, yeah that's, that's that's great that, that, going, but, guys. Also, that's great I mean, going. Don't don't start uh you know a fight a, accusing the police of racial profiling before we, you really know what's going on because in this. No, time, no. Listen, if you're gonna arrest someone, you arrest the guy with the knife. Well, you don't know, but you know how maybe that is, is the story is is blown out of proportion or something through uh, many just, many just iterations saying, and stuff. Maybe just, it's bad too, but you know, we gotta, I think we gotta look out as far as you know racial profiling goes. I but think the, the backlash it could be bad too. Hey, and, hey, uh, can you I think the police do need cameras on them though? <laughs> yeah. Hey, Kirsten. Yeah. Kirsten. Yeah. Have your friend call. What? Have your friend call and uh, talk about this. Yeah, we got to tell Zoe to call the program and tell yes. her story. Cause she saw everything and she said that that's what she saw yesterday wow. on the street. Look out, and though. And she, she really thought it was a big deal. And I wasn't there, but I don't know. Yeah. Hey, hey officers, we're re recording devices. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's pretty crazy. Yeah. That. Was that in the in the daytime? Yeah, well, she said it was at three in the afternoon. Well, what? That's no time to pick a fight. Yeah, man. You had a knife. I would have thought that would have yeah, been like after cool. nine o'clock. They should have. Um, they should have taken them both of them. In, see, I, guess, I would. Right? I would think that yeah, if like, the police saw they the. Off the whole street. Pardon. They closed off the whole street. Oh yeah. What? Did somebody get stabbed or something? Or did they actually? Were they actually like, like <coughs> hitting each other or hurting each other, or was it just like yelling? Um, I think it was just yelling. That's what Zoe said. I think. I don't know. I, I should. I don't want to tell the story wrong. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Have her call. Yeah. So. And then. Really, that's like what I what. I didn't see on the streets, but someone else did. No, that's that's good. Yeah. Fights. Yeah. Look out for those fights, I am. Right. Yeah. Well, hey, uh, thanks, thanks, Kirsten. I guess Freddie's phone is still out of commission. No, he has his phone, but he's in the bath. He's in the bath. Oh. So, should I? Maybe I'll go bring. How do you get the phone turned on? Because I'm on the computer. Um, we would have to call. Call it again, but I think it, it, that's fine. Tell tell him. Have a thank nice you. Bath. Yeah. I have, know he'll really want to talk to you. Oh, all right. Well, you can. Oh, so should we? You think we should call him back? Yeah, because I can't find a phone, so call back. Okay, should I call your phone? Call your phone. Call his phone. Call his phone. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna call it again. Okay. Don't but, answer the computer okay. though. Okay. Yeah, I'll answer the phone. Yeah, don't I, answer the I, computer. I think it. I think the computer has to ring through, and then the phone will ring. Maybe. Oh, okay. 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 Thank uh, you. All right, here we go. Now we're gonna call again. Oh, now, now they're calling us. Okay, no, that was that was a mistake. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we're gonna find out how the production end is going and stuff too. Looks like Claire tried to call us back when we were uh, on the phone. Busy, busy, busy bee. Yeah. Phone time. What about those glaciers? So they're going to go and drink the water out of, like, astronauts? So that's the plan? Well, well, you just need a filter. You just need the right kind of filter, and you can filter out percolates. Is it more about that, or is that there's... Hello? Hello? Did you, Did you answer the phone? Is it the phone? Hey, program. Hey, Freddy. Hey, hey Freddy. Are you in the bath? Yeah, the bath. How did you know? Uh, <laughs> oh. Kirsten told us. Oh, really? If you drop your phone, yeah, I mean, I'm I think if you drop your phone in the bath, it's more dangerous for the phone than for you. Oh, yeah. It's not like it's going to let you shoot me in. Yeah. It's got a little tiny battery. I wonder if you drop, like, those old, like, old phones that connected to the wall. I wonder how much damage that would do to you. I don't want to yeah, even go there yeah. mentally. I, I want to go there. Like a little bit less than nine volts, but um, you never know. So, so you think you'd just be like, ah, oh, and then you'd like be okay? 
I think I think yeah, it would probably shock a little bit, and then the phone would go dead. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe it maybe it would create like a circuit or something. I don't know how that works. Because it seems I'm like not very uh, about that. maybe it would somehow like just continually, because of the continuous current, just get shocked more and more, like slowly. Because I would, that seems like something that people would do often. Dropping the phone in the water. Just like talking on the phone, you know. I don't remember analog phone days too much when they're connected to the wall, but I guess people don't have them in their bathroom. No, I think people did have phones in their bathroom, like right next to their bathtub. It seems like a thing. Yeah. There's a tiny and, current. And, There's a. And TVs too. They had TVs in their bathtub. Oh yeah, I had a TV in the bathroom. That's probably a bad That's idea. That's the way to do it. Yeah. <laughs> I think people, more often than not, seem to drop their phones in toilets. Yeah, but we're not talking about like getting shocked from like a wall phone or something. Right. Uh, I think there's a tiny amount of current that travels through the, the phone line. Yeah, enough so to yeah, get you, shocked. So yeah, you definitely get some kind of shock. It might not be much. Would it be enough to kill you? I doubt it. I mean, some circuit would trip at some point because it's this crazy, all the current that can be released into the water gets released. Same with your battery. It just, it, it discharges very quickly. And so you suddenly have all these electrons, but, uh, and you'd get like the sum total of the charge of the battery too. It wouldn't just be, you know, it'd just be, you go, uh, I don't know if you'd feel that. I. I have I have no idea. Just amps and volts. Let's experiment. <laughs> Let's but the phone, not. phone definitely probably more and yeah, television. Oh yeah. Yeah, that, well, yeah, yeah. Well, that's the bad bit. We, I you. think we should just ask Don't do around. That. Don't do that. How, how are you doing, Freddie? How's the production end going and stuff? Uh, the production end is going really good. I got everything um, imported into the computer except for. Uh, Devs that you guys are capturing or like taping right now, um, and we've got ourselves scheduled out on TV, and I'm working on making more YouTube episodes now. We've got we're a little backed up there. The most recent one is still the Friday episode from um, last week. So actually, yeah, we're we're I think four days or something behind in terms of what we usually have up. But um, honestly. Capturing the new episodes with the new uh, formula is working out really good, and I think now that um, the kids camp is over, I'm going to be getting everything backed up to speed and um, better than ever before. So I think it's going good. Good. Yay. Yay. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, wait. I heard, I heard an interesting story on the, uh -huh. about something that happened on the street. Yay. <laughs> well, yeah, what happened? Oh, What's actually, that? Actually, yeah, I forgot. Um, I was also on the front page of the Olympian today. What? Speaking of the camp, yeah. Ha um, I, I taught a kids' camp at and um, on the like third day or the fourth day or something, the Olympia uh, reporter and photographer came and interviewed a bunch of the kids and Peter Epperson and... Um, um, and I, they asked me some questions, but I guess I didn't. I should have, or I should have remembered to talk in sound bite. Oh it, yeah. So I don't think they. I actually like gave them anything that um, they used, but they did take a picture of me training the kids in the control room, and um, I was featured as, as a, the front page picture, and I'm has my name there. It says uh, CCTV staff person. Frederick Dobler, and then in parentheses it says, in knitted cap, or in knitted hat. So I was wearing, uh, like, a, a knitted hat. Oh, um, yeah. Did you... And then it, it was like, teaches some campers about how to use the studio or something. Did you get a copy? I, I meant to bring a copy home with me from CCTV, because they get the Olympian, but um, I set it aside and then left it at work, so hopefully it's still there tomorrow. Well, I bet if you go to the place... Like outside, you can find them on the street. You can buy them from the vending machine. Oh yeah, for sure. You can also go to the Olympian um, office itself and buy like yesterday's issue. Oh, oh yeah. but the boxes will have them for sure. Go get a couple. Yeah, that's a good point. But what am I gonna do with a bunch of newspapers? Uh, maybe I'll send one to my mom. She'd like it. Oh yeah, I'll I want one. Well, someone someone. Okay, I'll get one for you and I'll get one for my mom. 
And <laughs> right, someone yeah. at the station is probably going to want to cut out the picture and stuff and, here's and here's stick it on a... Yeah, that's all. Hey, you can give them out. People want them. Yeah, they're only 35 we're gonna be, cents. We're going to tear the newspapers. We're going to be up to our, head, our next newspaper. Yeah, that's what happens when you get your page well, well, after, in there. Yeah, after you get the uh, front page, you can use the rest of the newsprint for uh, wrapping Christmas presents. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. I wonder how many newspapers they print. Your face was on, you know, thousand, a thousand. Wow. That's a lot of pictures of me. I think the amount of pictures of me in the world maybe just doubled. Yeah. Um, so that's, that's fun. It kind of makes me feel like uh, I actually might be a real person. You know, it's like maybe. No, <laughs> you're a real person. The IRS <laughs> confirms it. Well, maybe. Like I'm not a, I'm or not Social a Security. Hey, yeah. it's not every day you get your picture in the paper. So oh, I mean, or yeah. so or it's just a grand, sure. it's a grander part of the illusion. Oh yeah, I guess the newspaper could just as easily be a part of the illusion as everything else. So doesn't prove anything. Um, hey, there was an interesting <laughs> thing that happened on the streets yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, it was, uh, oh, you know, I heard I heard from two different people the same story, and then. Uh, but from different angles. One of them was my landlord uh, told me when I walked home yesterday that um, just a few minutes or maybe a few hours before, this was probably while I was watching Furious 7 um, in the movie theater, there's all this police activity, like seven cop cars driving up the street and then blasting down like up Fifth Avenue towards the west side and then racing really fast down Fourth Avenue. Um, and then He's like, I don't know what it was, but we'll probably find out tomorrow. And then today, my friend Zoe uh, told us a story that she witnessed outside of the boyer over there by the uh, um, Artesian well. And uh -huh. apparently two people got in some sort of an altercation. It sounded like one person was uh, yelling racist or racial slurs oh, no. at um, a person who was like a... Um, like a black person there in town and things were getting all crazy because like, he was yelling racist stuff and then people were like getting all up you know in his face and then trying to you know he was like still trying to be up in the other guy's face and then you know there were like more and more people and then suddenly he pulled out a knife and he's like threatening the guy with the knife threatening the people who were trying to like stop him from or like trying to like be like, hey, don't say that stuff, and like yelling at him, like almost as if it was just like uh, he was gonna maybe stab someone or stab oh, the no. guy. I don't know. And then so it continues a little bit more, and the police still haven't shown up. And then um, this other guy, sort of like a maybe a he was described to me as like kind of a crust punk type person, mm. um, pulled out his own knife and steps in front of the black guy and is like protecting him with a knife like so it'd be like those two in knife battle yeah and then the police show up and um then uh my friend was saying that just as she she was like i don't know thinking to herself like oh the police are here what are they gonna do they're gonna go after the black guy and like sure enough they put him in handcuffs, and I know that the other guy who was protecting him got put in handcuffs. Um, and uh, it was, and we still don't know what happened to the original perpetrator. Probably he got put in handcuffs too, I imagine. But um, mm. then the the crook punk guy who tried to protect the other guy, uh, like someone. Yeah, I was like, hey, he's not doing anything, and he, like, he was not involved. I don't know what he said, and then he got away. He got to go free, but they don't really know what happened to um, the black guy. Who I think, uh, I'm not sure who it was. But they said his name, but it sounded like maybe it was one of the kind of regular people who's on the streets a lot or something. Like, yeah, you know, like something Mike, maybe yeah. Mike or something. Oh yeah, really. Uh, so, I don't know. Um, it sounded like quite an ordeal, yeah. and people were talking about it. And, uh, I guess the main thing to remember is that you have a phone, pretty much most of you out there who are watching. Oh, yeah, pull out your phones. Phone. 
to have the sheet like a camera on it. It doesn't matter what quality it is. You just if you see something like that, you gotta start recording. Yeah. So that you have proof of what's going on. Hopefully, like, I think thing. in so this situation, it sounds like you know everybody involved with the fight will be taken in for at least questioning or whatever, and maybe they'll sort it out later on. And seeing that kind of thing, it sounds like they if they arrested everybody, I think that's the right thing. That's probably true. Now, the interesting thing that's also going on there that I didn't know about is that the uh, Archesian Well is under surveillance from City Hall by a uh, police officer who sits there at the front desk and tells people where to go when you're on the City Hall. So, oh, yeah. Um, hey, I'm not sure why it took them so long to see it going, but I don't know. It's weird. But, but you know, those records are a lot harder to come by, like in terms of surveillance. It takes a lot to get records from the police in a case because they don't, you know, to go through a lot of red tape to get that stuff as a member of the public or even to defend yourself. So mm -hmm. having video by uh, just regular people who are there to kind of make sure that everything stays above board is really important. I think that that. Yep. And then, of course, call the program. When she was telling me the story, I was like, why didn't you call the program? Uh, if, you, if you see something happen on the streets, call, call us. Yeah. Yeah, call the program. And get video of it. Yeah. All right. So. Seems like those those but, cameras should be public. Like, there should be like a channel for it. That would be pretty not good. Like a TCTV channel. Only it's just yeah, like the surveillance awesome. the surveillance channel. I would totally watch the surveillance channel. That'd be a great channel to watch. Yeah. All right. Hmm. Yeah. I totally yeah. agree. Hey, you are. Totally agree. Let's do. Let's do this. Hey, you got anything else you want to say today, Freddie? I don't know. Not really much else. Uh, you want to hear info time? Oh yeah. All right, me, here we go. Me, hey, let me hear info time. Now it's info time. You're watching your daily hour with me. It's our hour-long hyperlife call-in television talk show that's recorded in every day in Thurston County, seven days a week, 365 days a year, 366 only years, YDHWM. began on September 19, 2010. Tapes a week in advance, so if you're watching this on TV, 11.30 p.m. on Channel 22, this episode taped on the same weekday of the previous week. If you're watching this at 2 a.m., this episode taped on the same day of the month of the previous year. You can also watch any episode of the program on YouTube.com. Anyone can come on the program, especially you. We rely on the community for content, so give us a call at 360-836-434 and leave a message. We'll play your message on the next episode and call you back. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hello? Hello. I got, I got, oh, I bam. Look at that. Back to back. Back to back. You ready I'm for the, the dice game there, Freddie? Hey, hey Freddie, pick a number. I'll pick a five. Yeah, you got 500 points. Like me. Yeah. That was easy. Yeah, you have five too? Yeah, I have 500 points with a five. Here we go. That's a good way to go. Roll the next one. We're doing it right in a row today. Wow. Two. That's the way to and do. one. Carl got 500 points. Hey, we're in the, you know, lining up to get it straight. Yeah. But we're going to get two, two, one, one, five, five. Who knows? We're on our, on our way. Anything could happen except for <laughs> with one, two, and five as the beginning. All right. Well, hey, Fre Freddie, do you want to, you want to keep taking your bath or you want to hear this message? You got a Ginsu message. Um, let's see. Well, yeah, I guess I'll listen to one message against your message and then I'll, I gotta wash my hair. <laughs> okay, here it goes. Oh, yeah, we're cooking meringue cookies. Oh, yeah, we heard about that. Did you hear Sounds that? Did, great. Did you hear that? It was kind of quiet. No, I, what did he say? I didn't hear it at all. Oh, is it this one? That was like silence. What's going down, motherfucker? How about that? You heard that time? Oh yeah, something, what motherfucker. Down, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it. <laughs> it's a little quiet. I like I like Mr. Ginsu's um uh thing about 
Michelle Obama or yeah. uh, um, what's her name? Barbara uh, Bush. Barbara Bush. Either right, Ma- being the next president. Either that Michelle like Obama. Out of all the people in the world, either Michelle Obama or Barbara Bush. Yeah, I'm, the I'm for that. Are their experience as the first lady. Yeah, I think I would like. <laughs> yeah. I think we we should we should endorse. Like, I I don't know. I, I like either of them. Like as we should we should endorse them on the same ticket. But uh, we don't really know. Oh yeah, like but, but which vice president? Well, well, we can figure that out later. But as for now, what is that? 2015. Obama no, and Bush. <laughs> 2020. Or Obama 2016. Bush. 20. Yeah. <laughs> that whatever it is. That's good. And then I guess, I don't know, I just was capturing episodes today, so I'm, I'm like, excited about all the stuff that's happened the last couple of days. Like, uh, I don't remember his name, but he's like, he's the one, uh, he's like, my name is Fred, or I'm Frederick Dobler, and oh, yeah. you have a face, your face looks like a penis. Uh, John, oh. John, Michael, John Michael Davis. <laughs> John Michael Davis. My yeah. name is John Michael Davis, and your face looks like a penis. <laughs> oh God! Just like uh, being yeah. saying your full name before <laughs> saying a phrase, like I'm. Oh, I'll say My name is Frederick Franklin Dover, and I'm taking a bath. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, hey, Freddie, what kind of shampoo do you use? Uh, let's see, I'm using this thing called Giovanni, which is the um, the like he was in the Elite Four, right? Or uh, the final Pokemon guy, hmm. uh, Eco Chick Hair, <laughs> normal nice. oily hair, Eco Chick Technology, Chic Eco Chic maybe. Ooh, Eco Chic, yeah. Deep clip shampoo. Eco Chic. Eco Chic sounds good. All right, thanks, Freddie. Yeah. Have fun with Eco Chic. Bye bye. <laughs> Have a good one. Uh, oh, I guess we could try to call Claire back. Sure. How much um, time do we got? Yeah, I don't know. We're gonna run out of time. We gotta call Mr. Ginsu. We gotta do this. Let's do this. Oh. One year ago today. I think we're running out of time. Did that really happen? Hey, everybody! It's the commercial. Sam Miller. Oh yeah, we do the commercial now. Not at the end of the show. Yeah, Sam is here. Mm-hmm. It's uh, egg Easter week here. Easter we egg. Talk to Mr. Gitsu. Oh, he's off the phone. I drank three gallons of milk in ten minutes. Oh, oh man. man, that's too much milk. That's too much. That was <laughs> before the show, so it's not that. That's TV. Yeah. We're on number nine hundred thirty-eight. Oh, Twenty-eight. Twenty-two. 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 Twenty-two.
for people with disabilities. I say give them a house. Carl wants to take their houses away. And well, 11.30 p.m. and 2 a.m. TCTV Channel 22. Yeah, this was April 14th.